हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संतोष काले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मालेगा बी के बारामती टुडे वी विल डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन टू सिग्नल साइंस सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिग्नल्स बेसिकली इन अ कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम द वर्ड सिग्नल इज यूज very commonly and therefore we must know what is exact meaning of signal so mathematically signal is described as a function of one or more independent variables that carries some information to represent a physical phenomena so simply we can say that physical quantity which contain some information and which is function of one or more independent variable is called as signals for example ecg signal eeg signals so signals can be one dimensional or multi dimensional let us see what is one dimensional signal when a function depends only on a single variable then such a type of signal is said to be one dimensional let us see the example of one dimensional signal so speed signal is example of one dimensional signal because in a speed signal amplitude varies with respect to time now another important type of signal is multi dimensional signal so when a function depends on two or more variables then signal is said to be multi dimensional the example of a multi dimensional signal is image basically image is a two dimensional signal which has some horizontal and vertical coordinates now there are some important type of the signals also the first it is continuous time signal second discrete time signal and the third important type is digital signals now let us see what is the system basically system is defined as the entity that operates on one or more signals to accomplish a function and produce a new output signal so system can represent combination of elements that can manipulates one or more signals to produce the desired output so system has certain input signal and which can produces the desired output signals there are two main type of the system electrical system and non electrical system the example of a electrical systems are amplifiers rectifier filters etc let us consider the amplifier which amplifies the weak signal so weak signal represent the input signal amplifier is system which amplifies the input weak signal and produces the strong signal rectifier which can convert ac into dc and filter which can remove the noise from input signals so representing the example of electrical system which requires power for its operation let us consider the non electrical systems for example different offices different banks different colleges bus stops railway stations airports are representing non electrical systems if you take the example of different colleges so too many students are coming in the colleges getting the knowledge and going out from the colleges 
so colleges are the best example of electrical systems now there are some important type of the systems first causal and anti causal system second linear and non linear system time variant and time invariant system stable and unstable system static and dynamic system invertible and inver inverse system let us see the first important type continuous time uh, important type of signals in details so the first important type is continuous time signals so signal that has a value for all the points in time is a continuous time signal or which is a function of time called as continuous time signal for example human speech signal see the graphical representation of continuous time signal in short we can say that continuous time signal is present or it is defined for all the values of time so we have two important parameter time and amplitude so for continuous time signal time is continuous and amplitude is also continuous so amplitude is continuously varying with respect to time so sinusoidal signals sine wave form cosine wave form are the best example of continuous time signals let us consider the second important type of signal discrete time signals in discrete time signal the signal is specified only for discrete values of time so time is not continuous time is discrete therefore the name is given discrete time signal discrete time signal can be obtained by sampling a continuous time signal so taking the values of original waveform at specific interval in time we can get a discrete time signal let us consider discrete time signal can be represented as x of n the example of a discrete time signals a wave file or mp3 represent the discrete time signals so for discrete time signal time is discrete and amplitude is continuous another important type of signal is digital signal so digital signals are special case of discrete time signals the first important parameter is time and time is discrete in nature for digital signals second important parameter is amplitude and amplitude is also discrete in nature or we can say that digital signals are quantized in amplitudes so digital signal for digital signals time and amplitude both the parameters are discrete in nature so digital signals can be specified by using only two levels high level and low levels or can be represented by ones and zeros so data from the computers are the example of digital signals let us see the graphical representation of continuous time signal versus discrete time signal so continuous time signal is represented by x of t so continuous time signal having the continuous amplitude varying with respect to time and for discrete time signal time is not continuous time is discrete but the amplitude values are continuous so it is a discrete time signal next we will see how to obtain the discrete time signal from continuous time signal so discrete time signal can be obtained by sampling the continuous time signal let us see the block diagram to obtain discrete time signal 
so the input signal is x of t it is given to the it is given to the block of sampler which is operating at the sampling frequency fs equal to 1 upon ts and producing the discrete time signal x of n so discrete time signal x of n this is equal to x of t at t equal to n into capital t or this is equal to n upon fs or this is equal to x of nt so in this way discrete time signal can be obtained from continuous time signal simply by replacing the variable t by n into capital t so block diagram shows a simpler switch which can chop up the incoming analog signal and the sampler switch operate at the sampling frequency of fs so fs is called as sampling frequency and fs can be expressed as a sample per second or in hertz and the sampling interval can be expressed as a capital t in seconds see the graphical representation for continuous time signal and graphical representation for discrete time signals so this is all about sampling where we can get discrete signals next part we will be see in the next screencast thank you very much